Hip Life is our foundation. Hip Life will pay credits to High Life, and everything that is today must also pay credits to Hip Life. So, I definitely draw inspiration. I'm a son of uh, you know Hip Life till today, but it doesn't change the fact that the article wants to capture the Ghanaian the Ghanaian sound. The article is capturing the state of Ghanaian sound, disguising under Hip Life somehow, and we know better. We cannot sit here. <laughs> For, to have our sound captured, whereby it takes it all the way and comes back to... I'm, ma I'm making my points from there to Sheriff, our brother, and then Kim Paluta. I want to ask, what are their roles in hip life? Maybe because of... They yeah, might job hot. Assembly Diloto. Hey! Aye! Hey! This conversation is getting tensious by the minute or by the day, and it is all about conversations around the hip life. Ten essential, <laughs> ten artists essential to the hip life genre in Ghana, and this was written by um, Kojomula and now Kojomula on the Grammys website, of which has generated lots of conversation. One Stoneboy raised concern about why he wrote that particular article and omitted his name interestingly so many people came to disagree with stoneboy on that score saying he had no locus or bearing in that particular conversation but in an interview with german portfolio on bkc stoneboy has explained what he actually meant by that particular rant that he came or call out of kojo Kojomula and the Grammys or the Recording Academy on why he thinks that it is unfair or in fact it is even an error for his name to be omitted in such a conversation. Well, I have what I would want to share on this particular take of Stoneboy during this particular interview. I believe there are so many, some of miscommunications and also certain conversations that may not be relevant to the substantive conversation on ground of which i would want us to have a discussion today or take a personal bite on it so yeah it is a seven minutes long i'm going to play it and as i play share my views intermittently or in between as we go this is the podcast with me live on roland report roland amati is who i am is i am the one speaking of which you can also share your views in the comment section i may be wrong or i may be right now Stoneboy has come to question the, the essence of the mentioning of some people like Kim Paluta and even Black Sheriff in this particular conversation and feels that if these people are being mentioned as even people who are relevant to the hip life sound today and we want to link them to the fact that they took inspiration from the hip life genre back then, then he equally took inspiration from that particular side. And when you talk about relevance as far as or conversation as far as the Grammy is concerned. He is one of the closest artists to to have gone, like to have gone, he's one of the artists to have gone closest to the Grammy conversation. So definitely he deserved to be mentioned. Well, without wasting much time, let me play the video for you. And as it goes, we just enter into it directly, open and close as quickly as possible. Let's listen to Stoneboy. Aiming to capture the true image. Okay, that on, 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 on the side. Right. I'm not against any name that I've been mentioned. And I stand on fact. Read where I said that yes. the name Stoneboy cannot be omitted mm -hmm. when it comes to the true image of what? The state yeah, of the Canadian sound. Which, which I think people we, have not yes. disagreed, but they are disagreeing on the premise that this yeah. was emphatic. emphatic yeah. Unless, of course, okay. they overload want to tell me. No, Please, no, do no. You have Hold on. Uh -huh. Continue. This was emphatic, emphatic to, to high to life. Hey, to hip life. To hip life. And okay. the era. It okay. was very emphatic about an era. But it mentioned some other artists who were not in that era. Uh, unless, of course, you educate us on that. Which is Black Sheriff, our own brother, and Kim Paluta. Okay, so, uh, okay. And then he goes on this morning to say, Black right. Sheriff ranks as one of the Ghanaian artists essential to Ghanaian hip life. Look, that's what's on the, on the portal. Have you yes. seen this? Mm -hmm. How do you explain that? I'm sure the explanation to this is very simple. If we are talking about people who identify as hip lifers in this particular era of music making, Stoneboy has definitely not been one of them. I, and I am talking about hip life artists. Yes, he may have drawn his inspiration even growing up as a musician from the hip life days or from the hip lifers. 
But the fact remains that if we are looking for people who have even been relevant in hip life conversation, even in modern day, especially in 2024, you can't definitely say Stone Boy has been relevant in a hip life conversation than Kempaluta and Black Sheriff. So if the article says they've been relevant to the hip life conversation, I mean in 2024, for people who have been nominated or even won the hip life hip hop artist of the year, or hip life hip hop song or hip life song of the year in even 2024 music categories or music awards king come on why are they not relevant it is just like we saying that okay we want to name people who are essential to the reggae dancehall culture in ghana and we omit the, the likes of stoneboy shatawali or samini like we it, it wouldn't be fair to them so if black sheriff and um, kimpaluta have all found themselves consistently in this particular category then it means they are doing something that is contributing, that is feeding, that is keeping the hip life genre alive. Apart from the oldies, like the likes of Shatawale and the others that were given an honorable mention, these people, I believe, have done a lot, even getting themselves nominated in this particular conversation. So, Charlie, that is, I believe, the explanation to why they are essential to the hip life conversation in 2024. Let's continue. Okay, so we want to shift away from we now. I'm centered on you. I want, yeah, I get it. Yes. So I'm centered on, on the Ghanaian sound. Okay. I'm centered on the article being half dosed. TikTok has also expressed his displeasure. Right. And has detailed. Kokese has come to say that if you don't write your own story, so people will carry it from different angles, trying to pin it different ways. I'm grateful that in all humility, we cannot disagree with the fact that this is a very you know, hardworking guy who is undoubtedly representing and adding to the catalog, the culture of Ghanaian music. Certainly. So when, when Livingston says Stoneboy deserves a mention mm. in such a, in, in in an article mm. that would represent us on a very international platform, that same platform, Stoneboy has had Stoneboy has the most articles written about him on Grammy platforms. Yes, Check it certainly. out. So it's not it's not so that should tell you that it's not the platform. It's not about my name in the platform, but it's about some of the things that we have to stand up for. You okay. understand? Okay, so I have, exactly. I have, I have. So what do you make of, for, this is an example. Yeah. I definitely have to state I'm not attacking nobody. No, 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 no. It's in yeah. contest to the thing. Black Sheriff ranks as one of the Ghanaian artists essential to Ghanaian hip life. I'm confused. So, and then the details further on in the same. And Tic Tac says, good attempt, but a very poor delivery not resourceful enough to be featured on such an uh, a credible space it's like the writer deciding towards about um, deciding to write about the story of hip hop mm. and rmb however missing some key and relevant information i'll advise recruiting academy to do due diligence same words i use to stories like this before publishing them right since it's of a great importance to the Ghanaian music industry right. this even further explains what i'm explaining in fact it doesn't Yes, he may have used similar words like you used, but it doesn't. Because you see, for TikTok, of course, we can vouch for him and say if his name was not mentioned, obviously deserves a mention because in terms of hip life journal and its popularity and the people that held the torch from one generation to the other, of course, we can't mention without mentioning the likes of TikTok and all of that in that particular conversation. But you see, the truth of the matter is Stoneboy was not fighting for TikTok. Stoneboy was not fighting for the others that probably were de like deserved to be mentioned that were not mentioned. In fact, Stoneboy was very emphatic in his delivery. And I'm sure when he came to say his name, and he was very emphatic on his name being omitted. So I am sure that if he, his name were to be included in a particular article, that would have been it for him. I doubt if he would have come out to come and say that, oh, why did you take this person's name out? Why did you take that person's name out? Please, what TikTok is saying is different, is completely different in terms of context from what Stoneboy is saying because Stoneboy is referring to himself and not him and the others. So if you would want to refer TikTok's um, submission and say they both use the same words, therefore they were all fighting for the same cause because it is essential to the Ghanaian music space. Yes, it is. But in also, it was directly or it was directed to a specific corner 
which is the hip life conversation let's continue okay so the reason why i do, i want to omit the the tic tac yeah, the tic tac yeah, yeah. because and the fact bit, that, yes yeah. the fact that now it was it was it was emphasizing the fusion of the indigenous sound mm -hmm. and dance which is a borrowed culture mm. and to them the poster boys at that era that was able to blend them was shatawali and samini mm -hmm. that is where we want to center the argument that it was emphatic do you where is what is your position in hip life your country because always you have always championed an afro dancer for the first time i heard afro dancer mm -hmm. was from you and that is a, a part you are chattering people are of the view that what is your concern with um a, a, an article that captures hip, hip life. life but hip life is our foundation hip life will pay credits to high mm -hmm. life and everything that is today must also pay credits to hip life so i definitely draw inspiration I'm a son of, uh, you know, hip life till today. But it doesn't change the fact that the article wants to capture the Ghanaian, the Ghanaian sound. The article is capturing the state of Ghanaian sound, disguising under hip life somehow. And we know better. We cannot sit here for, to have our sound captured, whereby it takes it all the way and comes back to... I'm, ma I'm making my points from there to Sheriff, our brother, and Nekim Paluta. I want to ask, what are their roles in hip life maybe because of how they have identified their, themselves are they hip life they, artists they, they identify themselves as such. have they said they are hip life for artists? Cap Paluta, i can stick my neck out for him uh, i have heard um blacko say he does her life and trap i don't know something like uh, something of that sort. so so if we are to use the same questions for stoneboy has stoneboy ever said he's a hip life artist anywhere before and the question would definitely be no but even in context or even in terms of work delivery and what they are even preaching out there these people have consistently been featured in hip life conversations even as far as recognition and here i am even talking about award schemes these guys have been nominated in hip life hip hop song of the year back to back consistently among so many collaborations or so many um, nominations that stoneboy has had which of them have gained prominently into the hip life conversation as far as the modern day music is concerned yes it is trying to capture their article is trying to capture the ghanaian sound but it is not capturing all aspects of the ghanaian sound because in all aspects of the ghanaian sound we have the high life there even the gospel genre and all of that have always been in there so bro i believe that yes you may not know but in terms of who is a hip life artist if the fact that they've not said in anywhere check their records check their work their body of works and it will tell you even among the recognition when was the last time stoneboy was nominated for a hip life category or even featured in a hip life conversation or he mentioning him himself as a hip life artist Good. which obviously Good. traces source from <laughs> the indigenous genre so right. do i not trace my sources also from the hip life Okay, so let me read this out real quick. Maybe you to know. give you a and better I'm, I'm understanding coming, of I'm the coming. Uh -huh. And then it ends up by summarizing it up. It goes head and comes down. Right. Summarizes it up with, that's an artist of the year. Um, um, Kim Paul is a new artist of the year. Right. And mentions a previous artist of the year. So, believe you me, I know better in this industry. Right. I speak less. I need to tell you straight. Right. I speak less. I speak less. I know better. I understand the terrain more and i'm always a student trying to continue to learn right when something doesn't make sense by the grace of god almighty and by the virtue of the people an established artist like myself who doesn't brag about things those who know me in real life know that i've i i i, I know myself i don't doubt you know i know what i'm speaking about what i've spoke about is the same thing a tic tac is speaking about it's the same thing Kwa is speaking about. It's the same thing some GH article is speaking about. This article has tried but does not capture the full state of the Ghanaian sound. May it not hide under hip life to say, to try to coin it in a certain way. Then what is Samini doing in there if their style is contemporary? What is Shata doing in there if their style is contemporary? What is Sonny Bali doing in there if their style is contemporary? Is my style not contemporary enough to be mentioned as even the current artist of the year? Are we writing in the past? Are we? I'm confused. There's a lot of questions I want to ask and I want to know also. Okay, so you see in his delivery, he mentioned why they even went back to mention 
the previous artist of the year and the previous artist of the year in 2023 was actually black sheriff go and check the categories with which he was even nominated for some of them are hip life hip hop song of the year hip life artist of the year and so on so in telling the hip life story you cannot come and pick a reggae dancehall artist yes we all know in capturing their current Ghanaian sound most of them took inspirations from whichever sound that well was invoked like in in previous days yes but you see the likes of samini shatter sonny bali and all those people were given honorable mentions as people that identify themselves as hip life you see another one is that the likes of kojo and chimo were all doing sort of reggae fused sounds but then in identification all of them identified as hip high life artists all of them identified as high life artists so yes Stoneboy probably may have taken inspiration from the hip life days or the hip lifers. But which genre did you identify yourself with? That is the most important conversation here. Which genre did you identify yourself with? Because if I take inspiration from gospel artists or during the gospel era, and since the time I blew up, I, I identify myself as a reggae dancehall artist. I should not come and claim position if some people hold that particular gospel genre are relevant to now and they would want to recognize them me na me take inspiration but i did not identify myself as such i have no bearing in coming to claim that side that part of the recognition it's like putting square pegs in round holes if you ask me it's like putting square pegs in round holes let's wrap it up here do you get what i'm trying to say right that is what I am standing for on behalf of Stoneboy, speaking the truth and saying no, this is the vibe. And out of all the list mentioned, Stoneboy is one of the ones who have come closest to the Grammys of, uh, many times. Yes, so what will be the what will be the curse or the harm here if that writer finds a way to acknowledge our current artist of the year so that that still continues to represent a certain pie, a certain piece? So now you see the real intentions with which man is not happy. He, he has nothing. He's not even talking about the others that were not mentioned. Now, this particular session exposes it. Because now, yes, now the fact that it was written on the Grammy platforms means that even if among the people mentioned, you are the one that have gone closest. Now, it is by force that if we are talking hip life, Stoneboy has to be mentioned. If we are talking gospel, Stoneboy has to be mentioned. Whereas you don't even identify yourself in that genre, even openly, you don't. Or because you are the artist of the year and you have come closer to Grammy, if there is a Grammy conversation of the Ghanaian sound, whether it pertains to your genre of music or not, a year by force, a year found shape. You see? So if he comes out to say, okay, he is fighting for the people that were not mentioned, this particular assertion really exposes his true intention as to why he is even going up and down fighting really for that particular recognition of the Ghanaian industry you can disagree all you want but i'm being honest with you it is not about articles being written on 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 stoneboy stoneboy undoubtedly has one of the it's been written about mostly in on international platforms in that list mentioned stoneboy is one of the names Facts. that has gotten Facts. so much international write-ups so what, what would it be Facts. is it that i want Facts. more write-up or no no i'm here at this time like you said as an institution a young institution at that i have to lend my voice to stuff that will be well, this is where we draw down or I draw down the curtains to this particular editorial. Maybe you can share your views in the comment section. Let me hear from you. Let me know what you think. Me, I think Stoneboy is fighting a lost battle. I mean, yes, in that same vein, it is just like Sarkodie coming out to say that, oh, we are talking about reggae and dancehall, um, people who are essential to the reggae and dancehall genre. And the likes of Stone Boy, Samini, Shatawale, and all of them people have been mentioned. And Sarkodia comes to say, Oh, because I featured on Love Rocks and uh, maybe Dance or Commando with Shatawale and all of that, like I I deserved a mention. Like it is it is by force that he deserves a mention. I mean, this particular conversation and the assertion that he is the one that has come closest there. You see, that that one is of a different conversation because 
if somebody or Stoneboy that was nominated on somebody's song self says he's come closest yes he's granted interviews and all of that on grammy's platform but we have people who have gone closer like the closest in terms of their projects being nominated the likes of guilty beats the likes of um um rocky dawuni and all of them people are even quiet so let's let's not drag this well this is where i draw down the curtains you can share your views in the comment section don't forget to subscribe and also for watch the other content on this particular channel i have more interesting content on the platform and yeah yeah fancy hi yeah day yeah pom yeah my dad job hot assembly hey